let's just say you're an artist. Yes, you're a painter and you do great work and you've been doing it for a while. You're known, but you're not like worldly known. And let's say people have come in, have, have been coming to get an interest in you. And someone asks you, how much is your paintings? And your first thought is, I don't know. And that is the same thought a lot of artists have these days. One, so if you just watched a little bit of the intro to this video, you realize what it's really about today. Today we're going to be talking about pricing your art and how it is the most difficult thing an artist can do. So besides doing graphic design, I have been painting for a while. I've painted since I was maybe in school and I've been doing it more and more. In the past few years I've created a few small um, small collections of painting. I've done my Call Me Happy paint collection, I've done black and white collection, I've done a small collection of line drawings, I've done a keepsake box collection which normally paint but boxes. So I've done a lot of painting in the past few years and I've discovered like most of artists um, pricing your art is very hard to do. If you don't know what you want to because you want a good price, you don't want to price too high, too low, if you price too high, no one's going to buy it. If you price too low, you're kind of devaluing your work and yourself as an artist, and you don't want to do that. And there's so many methods of, of pricing. People say price by how long you've been on the work, on doing the work, your 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 status, or how big you've known, um, the materials you use, how long you worked on a product. All there's so many aspects to paint to pricing a painting. It's a lot and can get frustrating and, and very difficult and like you really don't know what to do. But there's also a very easy way to do it, what I do for my paintings. It's, it's called the size by base method. You either do it by linear, which is height times width, or you do it by, no, that's height plus width, sorry, or, or linear, was or sorry, or square inch is either height plus width. I'll put all the information detailed in the description box below so I'm clear it up because it's a lot of, it's very confusing but it's a very easy way of doing it. And this way I do it. You're really supposed to do it by square inch. So let's just say you are pricing your, your work at 250 a square inch, 250 cents per square inch. And your work is like four by four by inches. So it's four by four inches so you do four times four, which is 16, I think in the regular math, 16. And then you do times 2.5, which is 250, with 250 cents, and you get 40. So then your, your painting is $40. It's a very simple way of doing it. The way I do it is a little different. I don't do it with my inch. I do in the linear, so I do my height, but then I do the height plus the width of the painting. Whatever number that is, that's my price of the painting. That works for me because I'm doing everything for a while but not too long and my I'm not that well known or established that much in the, in the fine arts world. So I base on my status, how I've been doing it, the amount of paintings. Plus all my paintings are of different sizes, so they're all different prices. Now if you're selling your paintings to a gallery, now that's a whole different ballpark ballpark because there's commission with galleries and percentages and gallery fees and framing fees and all the kind of fees and it can get very, very expensive. So this method may not work when you put your art in a gallery because that's a whole other story. This method only works if you're an individual artist, you're working on your own, you're independent, you're selling like local fairs or like Etsy, which also has all these extra little fairs, little, little um, fees as well. But this is for local people who are doing things in their, small, in their towns, in their own cities. You're not in like going to the MoMA and you're in a gallery and you're working in the MoMA. This may not work for that because that's a whole different realm of expensiveness and fees. And it. But this only works for that. This is a very easy method. I use it. I like it. It's very understandable. Clients, buyers will understand this. They may ask, how did you get that price? Why does it cost this much? And you can tell them this method. And they may say, okay, I see, that makes sense. It's easy to explain and most people understand this. 
It's hard to explain when you break down, oh, I do my hour, I work three hours of painting on this day, and I miss my expenses, and this is my product squad. That can get a little tricky. Some people are like, what? That makes it too much. So you don't really want to do that. So, but this method is very easy to use. I recommend that people who are starting out as artists are not sure how the price to work, and they've done a lot of work, and they want to start selling it, and they're kind of confused and don't know where to go. This is a very easy method to go with, and a lot of people have been using it. So I really, really highly recommend it. So I hope the video helped you. I hope you learned something about the size-based method of pressing your painting because it's a very good method and it's very helpful. Um, I hope you get a little more clear understanding how to paint, how to park your painting as well, and your future work you're going to create. It's very easy. I will link all the information about this in the bottom link, put some links to some websites that explains more in detail, but more so you can read about it in your own time. Um, also, check out my Etsy page and where I have all my paintings work I've done in the past few years. Um, and there I used you can see how I price my what my prices are. They're very affordable. I think they are. Um, I have a lot of work up there. I will be adding some work in the in the future, but I will be doing more graphic design work as I said in the past video. But it's available for my Etsy page. I'll put that link below as well. Also, I'm on Instagram now, as I mentioned in my very first video of 2015. Come follow me. I put pictures up all the time. I, I'm beginning to love Instagram. It's great. I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with it now. It's wonderful. So. Come follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'll put the information below in the instrument in the Christmas box below there too. So hope that helped you. Have a good day. Bye.